Lord Jesus, we thank you for another day, another chance, another opportunity to give you praise and to give you glory. Today's scripture comes from Mark chapter 8, starting at verse 17, and it says, Aware of their decision, Jesus asked them, Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not see or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes but fail to see and ears but fail to hear? And don't you remember when I broke the five loaves for the 5,000? How many basketfuls of pieces did you pick up? Twelve, they replied. And when I broke the seven loaves for the 4,000, how many basketfuls of pieces did you pick up? They answered, seven. He said to them, do you still not understand? Father God, we just pray today that your people understand that you are the bread of life. You are our source. Everything we need comes and flows through you, Father God. You said that even if we are hungry and we're in a desert, God, you will send a raven, a bird to feed, it, feed us, God. You said in your word, God, don't worry about what you're going to eat or the clothes that you're going to wear or where you're going to sleep, Father God, because you're going to protect us, Lord. You're going to be with us in the storm, God. So we pray that we strengthen our faith and don't look at what's going on around us. Don't look at the bill. Don't worry about the car. Don't worry about getting this and that fixed in this season, God. Just trust you, Father God, because if we lean and depend on you, if it's your will, Father God, it's your bill. So we just rest in you today, God, and know that you are our source, God, and we don't have to worry, God. And even if we go to the wrong place that you don't want us, God, you still have enough grace to bring us God, out, God. So we just thank you today. We just rest in this principle in Mark 8 that you are our source, Father God. Everything we need is in you. Let us, uh, let us strengthen ourselves in the word. Strengthen ourselves in our purpose, God. Strengthen us each day to do what you have called us to do, Lord. We will no longer sit down in places where you have called us to stand up, Father God. Let us boldly come into the throne, Father God. Boldly do what you have called us to do. We trust you on today. We love you on today. It is so. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Amen.